The debate around problems at Dunedin Hospital has been given a big boost, has given a big boost to a council campaign to keep the hospital in the central city. The City Council has been campaigning for five months to get the government to rule out building a planned new hospital outside the CBD, most likely at the Wakari Hospital site, four kilometres away. Uh, that decision is expected within weeks, but for the past fortnight, Checkpoint has revealed long surgery delays at the hospital for heart, prostate cancer, orthopaedic patients, you name it. We've also discussed a desperate shortage of ICU beds. Our Otago Southland reporter Ian Telfer visited the Council's campaign in action in a Dunedin Eden Mall. Right, send a message to government about the hospital, sir. Hospital rebuild. Dunedin City Councillors are on the hustings, this time not for an election, but for the site of the city's promised new hospital. But after five months of campaigning, Councillor Christine Gary says public support has suddenly spiked. This last weekend there was just a change in the momentum. Um, I'm sure it was because um, there was a lot of uh, talk in the media about the hospital and other areas of interest and um, the momentum here, we had a queue of people. There wasn't a queue at lunchtime today, but a steady trickle, with dozens signing up to the campaign. People like this Dunedin Hospital nurse. It's really hard to work in a hospital with really limited resources and cancelling surgeries every day that people need because there's no beds or no resources to do it. Yeah, right. So you're seeing it? Yeah, absolutely. First hand. Yeah. Yeah. As a patient and as a nurse, yeah. Yeah. And has this got worse or better or what do you think? Um, I think it's got worse actually. Yeah, it's definitely getting worse. Does that make it hard? Morale? Like what's, what are yeah, like? it's hard being the nurse that's saying, oh, you're not getting surgery today because there's not an ICU bed or there's no HDU beds for you. Her student friend agrees. Oh, uh, yeah, I've got friends in hospital at the moment and it's, yeah, really hard visiting them and hearing that they've had to wait for surgeries and it's just not really good enough. And being, uh, I'm a planning student at the university and so, I mean, this is something that it needs to change. It's getting worse and no one's doing anything about it. Andy Craig, who's been a patient several times, says there's no doubt the hospital's struggling. Wait times are off the hook. I was the only one in the waiting room waiting four hours to be seen. Get down there and there's nobody in the hospital. So it's obvious to me that they're understaffed, under-resourced. For some, emotions are running high. Disgusting. It needs to be rectified right now. And with six weeks to the election, people are looking for solutions. Problems with leaking buildings, I think it's well overdue. Is it an election issue? Like, how concerned are people, do you think? Uh, yeah, if somebody, um, if a party said they're going to build it tomorrow, then they'd get my vote. The Health Minister, Jonathan Coleman's insisting the hospital and the Southern District Health Board, which runs it, have enough money and just need to get their act together. The board's commissioner, Cathy Grant, says they can make the current funding work. But Councillor Christine Gary doubts that. I think it's an overstressed hospital that's underfunded. I think it's really quite simple. And I haven't seen any improvements that the commissioner's been in there. I'm not assured at all. And that really concerns me. Ms Gary says she thought the council had hit the right campaign when it started in March, but is even more convinced now she sees the way the public's backing it. In central Dunedin, for Checkpoint, Ian Telfer.